hello yes we are going to solve this m times the mth term of an ap is equal to n times the nth term that was given so what is this m times the mth term m times the mth term means m times m into mth term what is the formula for mth term a plus m minus 1 into d is equal to n times the nth term again n times so n into nth term is a plus n minus 1 into d correct let us try to simplify this m into a is going to be a m plus m into m is m square minus m into 1 is equal to m times d is equal to similarly n into a is going to be a n plus n into n is n square minus n into 1 equal to n times d got it. So, let us try to transpose everything from right hand side to left hand side then what will you get a m transposing plus a n that side would be minus a n as a pair and d terms here d term is m square minus m and here n square minus n when you transpose it towards this side so minus of n square minus n into d is equal to 0. So, hope you understand this step see from a m minus a n you can take one a common remaining m minus n plus see this is totally d common right. So, when you open the bracket it would be m square minus m minus into n square is minus n square minus of minus plus n into d is equal to 0. So, then it is going to be a times m minus n plus see this m square minus n square I am writing m square minus n square as m minus n times m plus n this is minus m this is plus n I am taking on minus common remaining m minus n into d is equal to 0. See totally if you observe we have m minus n here m minus n here m minus n here. So, you can take m minus n common. So, when you take m minus n common m minus n into here the terms are a plus here m minus n taken common remaining m plus n and then here it is minus 1 into d is equal to 0. See this is the product of two terms is equal to 0. When the product of two terms is going to be 0 either first term equal to 0 or second term is equal to 0. When you take m minus n is equal to 0 then m is equal to n. m is equal to n means what according to the problem m times the nth term of an a b is equal to m times the nth term nothing um, important with that. So, another term a plus m plus n minus 1 into d. So, therefore, a plus m plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 0, but what it is exactly a plus m plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 0 is obviously m plus nth term right. So, a plus m plus a m plus n is going to be 0. So, m plus nth term of this a p is going to be 0. So, this way we can prove that if m times the nth term of an a p is equal to n times the nth term then prove that it is m plus nth term is 0 you understand. So, this is the way of answering this problem. So, let us go with one more example. So, that one more example is going to be right. So, the another example is if r the term is m and m the term is r then prove that its nth term is m plus r minus n ok. The given problem is here the next example is going to be if r the term is m if r the term is m and r the term is m and m the term is r and m the term is r if r the term is m and m the term is r then you will have to prove that its nth term is then 
prove that its nth term of a p is what is the nth term of a p m plus r minus n m plus r minus n this is what you will have to prove if rth term of an ap is m and mth term is r then prove that its nth term is going to be m plus r minus n so in order to prove that this is just similar to the previous one that we did already rth term of an ap is m so let us consider an ap whose first term is equal to small a and the common difference is going to be small d right then what is rth term of an ap according to the given problem rth term of an ap that is a r what is the formula for rth term a plus r minus 1 into d is equal to m so this is one information and mth term is equal to r mth term is nothing but a m is equal to a plus m minus 1 into d is equal to r this is what the information given what are you going to prove you are going to prove that its nth term is going to be m plus r minus n in order to find what is the nth term you should know what is a as well as what is d from these two informations so how do you get the values of a and d from that it is very easy you will have to solve those two equations for a and r by any of our algebraic methods that what we discussed in grade um, that 10 of third chapter a pair of linear equations in two variables we have four methods suggested in that chapter substitution method elimination method cross multiplication method graphical method so better uh, i think uh, elimination method is pretty much clear so that i will just explain um, to cancel this by elimination method for that see this is a this is a so that you will have to subtract one equation from the other equation so this is minus this is minus and this is minus plus a minus a gets cancelled this is r minus 1 into d so r minus 1 this is minus of m minus 1 so minus into m minus m minus of minus plus 1 times d is equal to this is m minus r is m minus r correct see any cancellation minus 1 plus 1 gets cancelled this is r minus m into d is equal to m minus r see this is r minus m and this is m minus r r minus 1 can be written as minus of m minus r so that is why the value of d is going to be m minus r divided by minus of m minus r which is equal to minus 1 therefore the value of d is going to be minus 1 and to get the value of a choose one of the equations ok so consider this is the first equation and this is second equation i am going to consider the first equation and first equation implies what is that a plus r minus 1 into d is equal to m i am going to substitute d is equal to minus 1 then it would be a plus r minus 1 into minus 1 is equal to m right that implies this is a plus into minus is equal to minus r minus of minus plus 1 is equal to m therefore the value of a is going to be transpose minus r that side it would be plus r and plus 1 that side would be minus 1 therefore the value of a is equal to m plus r minus 1 and d is equal to minus 1 so with the help of this a and d what are you going to find you are going to find what is nth term of arithmetic progression so therefore nth term a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d substitute the values of a and d over there a is going to be m plus r minus 1 so m plus r minus 1 plus n minus 1 into d is going to be minus 1 right so when you open the bracket it would be m plus r minus 1 minus into n is equal to minus n minus of minus plus 1 so plus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled finally nth term of this arithmetic progression is m plus r minus n this is what 
nth term of the arithmetic progression. If you observe, you will have to prove that according to the given problem, you will have to prove that arithmetic progression whose nth term is m plus r minus n. So, this way we can easily answer the problem. Right. Next, one more example um, is going to be what is that example? Right. If a comma b comma c are next question is going to be if a comma b comma c are p comma q and r terms of an a p if a comma b comma c are p q and r terms of an a p then prove that then prove that what are you going to prove here then prove that q minus r into a otherwise a into q minus r plus b into r minus p plus c into p minus q is going to be 0 this is what you need to prove. Okay? So, in order to prove this first of all what is the information given a comma b comma c are p q and r terms of an a p respectively. Then you need to prove that a into q minus r plus b into r minus p plus c into p minus q. So, how is that possible let us try to understand and again if you want to form an arithmetic progression definitely you should know what is the first term as well as common difference. So, let us consider first term of an a p is equal to generally we take a small a, but a is already involved in the problem let us consider with one more one more letter any letter is ok. I am going with capital A and common difference is going to be what is the common difference let us go with capital D ok. First term is equal to capital A and common difference is going to be capital D. See, when you take this capital letters for uh, a 1 as well as common difference then there is no confusion. Okay? So, common difference is going to be capital D. What is information given a would be the pth term okay? according to the given problem pth term is a p is equal to a. So, what is pth term formula that is a plus. So, a we are anyway using capital letters right. So, I am using capital letter here. So, that capital letter is A plus P minus 1 into capital D is going to be small a that is what the information given right. And what is second one? Qth term is B, Qth term means A Q is equal to B. So, Q what is the formula for Qth term? A plus Q minus 1 into D is equal to B and rth term is c, rth term means a r is equal to c that implies a plus r minus 1 into d is equal to c. This is what the information given. Now, you need to prove that a into q minus r plus b into r minus p plus c into p minus q. Okay? Let us take this left hand side. So, what is this left hand side? Left hand side is going to be a into q minus r a into q minus r. Let me find out what is this a into q minus r. a is basically a plus p minus 1 into d into q minus r. So, into q minus r. I do one thing, I am not going to multiply everything, but I, I am going to multiply this a with q minus r and p minus 1 into d with q minus r. Okay? Then it would be a into q minus r plus p minus 1 into q minus r into d. So, p minus 1 into q minus r into d this is what is a into q minus r. What is second one b into r minus p. So, b into r minus p is going to be the same way b is going to be a plus q minus 1 into d into r minus p is equal to again multiply in the same way a multiplied by r minus p. So, a into r minus p plus q minus 1 into r minus p into d. So, q minus 1 
into r minus p into d that is the second one coming to the third one what is third one c into p minus q so c into p minus q is going to be what is c again a plus r minus 1 into d into p minus q so p minus q is equal to again a into p minus q is a into p minus q plus r minus 1 into p minus q so r minus 1 into p minus q into d so what are we going to do now we are going to add all these three so when you add all these three then you will have to add all these three see when you are adding what will you get see i am not adding everything at a time i will take first a terms and then i will add and then i will take d terms and then i will add so when i take a terms so consider a terms so what are a terms here consider a terms see here a into q minus r a into r minus p a into p minus q so that i will take one a common from all these three then the remaining r q minus r plus r minus p plus p minus q correct and then i will take d terms so consider d terms but when you consider d terms see there are products right so that i will take d first of all common and then i will just multiply both of them p minus 1 into q minus r p into q is equal to p q minus q into 1 is equal to q minus r into p is equal to minus r p and then minus of minus plus r that is the first one plus coming to the second one r into q is equal to r q minus r into 1 is equal to r minus p into q is equal to minus p q minus of minus plus p correct and coming to this r into p is equal to p r plus um, i would say q into 1 is equal to q and then p into minus 1 equal to minus p and then um, q into 1 is equal to q already over this is p already over right so p r minus p what about q r minus q into r is equal to minus q r once you observe the terms here plus q minus q cancel plus p minus p cancel plus r minus r cancel so a into 0 is going to be 0 coming to d terms plus p q minus p q cancel minus q plus q cancel minus r p plus r p cancel plus r minus r cancel plus r q minus r q cancel minus p plus p gets cancelled so finally you get a into 0 plus d into 0 a into 0 plus d into 0 is going to be 0 so this way we can prove if a b c are p -th term q -th term and r -th term of an ap then we can prove that a into q minus r plus b into r minus p plus c into p minus q is equal to 0 so hope you understand how to answer this problem so this way we can answer few set of problems uh, which are the applications of nth term of arithmetic progression thank you